What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about the drill culture. A lot of people be saying truth. When you get to Chicago, you got to talk to some of the people that you think is on the rise that's coming out of the rack. Today, I was lucky enough to get that opportunity. Now, you got to be blind. You have been hit in the eye too many times if you don't know in front of this camera. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, you'll let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. They know who to go. Big Boss Damo, man. 57 Wall Con. Kind. Uh, now, I want to ask you something real quick, Damo. You said 57 and Wall Con. Kind. That's all. Uh, when I talk to people in front of that camera, they normally uh, name the communities after somebody who they lost their life. That's not the same. No, nah, we just Winchester Wall Con. Okay. It's, it's the street. Okay. You know the name of the one. Right. You notice that culture that kind of goes on out there with people with name and hood. Mm -hmm. Like Johnny Deal and all that shit. Right. You know, a lot of the fans be intrigued about that. So I like to bring, you know, a little transparency and stuff like that. Uh, is that Inglewood? Yes, sir. Oh, that's the Inglewood. Inglewood, we all hear about. Damn, how you the move around out there? <laughs> huh? How you move around out there? You gotta move smart. To me, how you move dodge. Duh. But you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't, we ain't loud and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas be on the internet heavy and shit or doing all that shit. We don't do too much shit. It's all about getting money and shit, staying out of the way, being positive. You know, did the internet kind of put that neighborhood in the bad light? Because we didn't see stories about like JoJo and other things like that. Like, especially this thing I always hear called the BDK GDK. Like, was you able to sit on your porch doing those signs and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, of course. Because I'm cool with both sides, you know what I'm saying? I ain't into it that side or this side. I was cool with Duck, and I'm cool with them on that side. So I ain't got no problem with none of them. Uh -huh. They ain't into it, motherfuckers that's, you know, a motherfucker dissing a motherfucker dead on me. That's what bring that type of shit to you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't on that bitch. Even if I'm cool with them on this side saying, oh, man, yeah, fuck them niggas and then go. I don't do none of that shit. Uh -huh. So that wasn't for everybody just in the Inglewood. No, nah, it's um, for the followers. Right. Because I've seen that. That was crazy. What is it about Inglewood, though, where it seemed like the whole world kind of grasped on that area? Because there's a lot of areas in Chicago. But yeah, that area just, that's, that's the danger zone, though. Like, it's, it's happening, you know what I'm saying? It's happening over there. You know, even over east, but like right there, right. a lot of motherfuckers, grew, we got a lot of, even the older years, like before us, it was bad as hell over there, you know what I'm saying? So, it wasn't no hanging outside and shit. Man. You know, you got rap videos from a little while ago. Mm -hmm. You ain't just started a year and two years ago, you know. Damo been in this shit for a while. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something. Uh, it seemed like this year the murder rate skyrocketed. Was that the drill rap did that? It's the internet that's doing oh, that. Internet. The fans starting shit. Um, Insta game shit that's probably not even what it is. So a lot of niggas, a lot of these rappers is, is dumbfounded. You know what I'm saying? They they let these motherfucker fans tell them like, oh, this nigga just said fuck you. And this nigga probably didn't even say that. It probably was a fake page that just said that shit. But these niggas so motherfucker, they so caught up in the internet, they ain't even street no more. Because they letting the internet ruin their life. Like, who? This nigga said what? We finna go kill this nigga. This nigga don't even know what the fuck going on. So... The internet and them fans is the one that started all this shit that's gonna keep this shit going. So I think it'll never be no peace between no sides. I don't give a fuck with my sit down. As long as these fans are alive, which is the ones we need, we need the fans, you know what I'm saying? Because they the ones who buying our songs and shit. But as long as they're around, this shit gonna continue. Right. Um, you know, a lot of people tell me that internet is something else. While we on the internet, I want to ask you something, Damo. And I asked the last six people I had in that chair in front of that camera. I want to ask you. Because uh, I didn't heard you speak on bloggers. I didn't heard you take up for bloggers. Mm -hmm. And I didn't heard you attack some, too. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so I want to ask you, are bloggers the police? Yes. And I really think that um, the police is following the bloggers. So if, if I'm... <laughs> if I'm saying, that, yes, this is the truth. Okay, if talk I, to when me. I say the bloggers is the police, I'm not saying that your guy, you guys are the police. I'm saying that the police is following y'all page, and by y'all giving up the information, RPZ TV, that's they following y'all page. You know what I'm saying? Some bloggers know police. Well, y'all may not know. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't really, like, I don't really know too much into that, but, like, the police is, that's how they get all the information from bloggers, because the bloggers, y'all the ones that do all the numbers. It ain't the rappers. It's the bloggers that you, like, Cheek Key said, fuck Tuco or some shit like that. That bitch shoot up to 100 million. The police watching that shit. Y'all see the lawyers and shit on there with these interviews, like, look at him with the gun and the video and all that shit. So, it's the bloggers, too, and it's the rappers. Right. The, the rappers that's incriminating themselves, so... But I really say the police, I mean the bloggers, because the police is watching the bloggers page. And the rappers too, but it started from the blogger saying, hey, it's niggas I never even heard of. I saw on y'all page, like, who the fuck is that? And then he, he said he did what to who? So it started from the blogger. I don't hear this shit from another nigga rapper because I don't listen to other rappers. So the blogger, the ones that I follow, if I hear y'all say something, then I'm going to go look at these niggas and then see like, damn, these niggas got a hundred guns. So I'm pretty sure the police doing the same shit, like. Okay. Oh, we got a new person on the list. I respect that, though, and I respect your opinion. That's why I thought that was dope. I want to be transparent. I got the rapper in my face. I want to ask him about bloggers, you know? Um, do you really pay attention to, like, the internet and shit? Because it's a YouTube channel by the name of Chicago Scene 88, okay? And they have a channel where, I guess, people say uh, they broke FBG duck case, okay? So I want to ask you this. Do YouTube solve crimes? The fans do. The fans do? Yeah, them the police. Man. Them the ones on that bitch putting little pieces together of pictures that we didn't even, we didn't even know was on the internet. Okay. You know, like when King Von got killed, we seen so many pictures like, look at him shooting. I saw the video plenty of times. I didn't even know motherfucker got shot. And I, ain't, I didn't even see what the fuck was going on until somebody screenshot it. Man. And then they screenshot it. What's the dude's name? The one that killed him? Uh, the Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim. They show this nigga with the same clothes on the music video. Who the fuck finna <laughs> go look at the music video from late on in the day and see that he got on the same clothes? The fucking police. So they bring it to our attention and then you know how that's how that shit go. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I ain't gonna front with you not damn on. They know you on Truth Teller TV. Mm -hmm. They know you in front of that camera. They know Truth got a paper right here with some questions on it. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to start off with you. Uh, that boys. <laughs> okay, you was in a group with them. Yeah, the dreadlock demo. You mm -hmm. know that demo. The monster, did, right? That demo <laughs> looked like he was aggressive as hell. You the know. Monster. Um, then I seen something on YouTube that said demo that boy this. Yeah, it's fuck no. I'm just keep it real with you though. Um, R. P. Russell Rose, that was my best friend. He got snake. By one of them in the group, so you don't really want to say too much on that, but right. they know what it is. But right. he was my best friend. He was a thought boy. That's how I joined the group because of him. And you know, he got shot in the head in front of his mom's house while I was in the studio. And you know, streets talk. So just niggas snake. So right. that's why I came how I came and shit. Like niggas know, but. I wanted to ask you that, not to be messy, but hey, hey, hey. I got you in that chair. I cannot get through this interview without asking about the Thought Boys. Um, something else that I want to ask you, because you was in one of the, uh, you was in an interview with one of the best dudes to ever do this Zach TV one. Yes, sir. In that interview, you spoke on how food the drill scene is. You still feel like that right now? <laughs> um, I mean, Chicago is drill. You know what I'm saying? But like, this this what we do. I mean, back then I think I was young though when I was talking, but I was I was still in the streets. So when I said that shit, I don't know, <laughs> cause shit, we live this shit. We get the trenches every day. Like, I feel like you a winner if you still live out here. You still alive and shit. You know, you still surviving. Cause anywhere you go, you they shooting at you or something. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's safe nowhere. So I don't know, man. Like, I think drill. That's who made us who we is, for real. Cause we get to tell people what we did and what we doing, and right. the fans love that shit. Right. So, uh -huh. Zach TV one, you know, it seemed like you and Zach had a connection. Yeah, we were close. Yeah. Did my interviews and shit, and um, draw my videos all on his channel. Yeah, he we did. We was hooping. We did a lot of shit together. Yeah. Fucked your head up when you got that news. Yeah, man. I was supposed to been at the um. I was supposed to went to the concert and shit, but I was working and shit too. Yeah, I had a job. I was working at Amazon. And I couldn't miss that shift and shit. And I got the call right before I was gonna go to work. Um, I think it was DJ Mars or it was King Dave, one of them. Yeah. And they were saying that he um he got shot and shit. 
I don't know who the fuck it was. One of them called me, and that shit fucked me. I'm like, wait, Zank TV downtown? How the fuck is that possible? Right. So, she just, I don't even know. She just was weird, but. Shit can just happen like that out here in Chicago? Shit everywhere. Yeah. For real, now we see. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it wasn't, you You couldn't think it should have happened downtown like there was a thousand cameras because the niggas ain't trying to go to jail, you know what I'm saying? You know your license plates on that, your face, yeah. but it's niggas growing up don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know, it's a lot of rappers been passing away. It's about seven or eight just last year. Uh, is it like a hit out of rappers out here or something? Or are they just... They bring that shit on themselves, dissing motherfuckers, you know? A motherfucker say they smoking my brother, you know? We finna come get shit. Yeah, that's exactly. how that shit gonna keep going. Like, as long as the motherfuckers keep dissing and getting in their feelings, but it's gonna keep happening because even if the shit die down, you know, if you got the OGs like Bo and all of them come together and like, we go sit down and end this shit. And they, and they got this party on this side, this party on this side. Guess what? The person that died, which was probably their brother, birthday coming up. Man, motherfucker finna get drunk off a of pill. Oh. Like, man, this nigga, that nigga shot this nigga. We cool with them? Man, fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, oh. whatever motherfucker trying to do, Stop it. It's not going to work. Because the motherfucker birthday coming up, this motherfucker dated this nigga dad coming up, and these motherfuckers finna shed some tears, and they finna come kill one of y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? So, shit will never end. That's just uh, the truth. You kind of messed me up with that one, with that birthday shit. That kind of threw me off. I get it, too. I can see that bitch. Yeah, you lost your brother? You finna yeah. go be cool with this nigga that killed your brother? Man. Uh, come on, man. Hell no. Let's be real. Yeah. You know, I got something else I want to ask you, and I'm going to ask you this without being a police. But I am going to ask you. Okay? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and I think this is crazy because I was told through the grapevine, and I actually seen some of it too on your Instagram. And I remember like a little while ago, like when some of this stuff was happening. I don't know if that was the exact time, but you were shot before. Hell yeah, I was shot up. Yeah. <laughs> I even shot three times. Oh, all kind of stuff, right? Hell yeah. Damn, well, how did that happen? Uh, the first time was with the police and shit. It was a little situation going on while I was helping a family member and shit. And, you know, motherfucker turned police and shit. And that's when we had them big ass clothes, next telephones, and all that extra shit. And the police, uh, I was trying to call my auntie, try to get her to come over there. It was like one in the morning, and uh, the police shot me and shit, so. All the police shot you? Yeah, they shot me in my hand. That's why this bitch broke like this. I ain't got no pictures of this shit. Yeah? yeah, a lot of people don't know, but that was my first time with, like, doing anything like i i never even like i wasn't like i was in the street but i was fighting and shit so you know what i'm saying it's just like a lot of that shit fucked me up i ended up going to the penitentiary but um Man. i was fighting this shit for a little minute but i had goldberg everybody know who that is that's one of the top lawyers in chicago and shit so i ended up getting uh my first time for going to jail was that time i got like 61 days in the penitentiary and shit but all they wanted was the number and shit off me that was the first, first time. You say 61 days? How old was you on the See, like 17. I just oh turned 18. Oh, my God. We can't just run past that day, man. We gotta, <laughs> come on now. We can't just run past that. How was it like for a guy that's a teenager to be in a prison? That's what you were saying? You, Shit, was you gotta hold your own. Yeah. I was in, hell yeah. I, was, um, I started out 16 with 17. Damn, oh, this is thing. amazing. I need no, to get that. That's for real. <laughs> How so, did something like that happen? When you walked in there, was you scared for your life? Hell no, because I'm already, I'm a street nigga. So, like, I, I was in the streets since I was 16. So, I've been adopted my whole life. Okay. When I ran away, that's when I joined the streets and shit. So, like, I gave my all to that. Like, learning shit, whatever I was looking at and seeing I was doing it. I, I knew I